Our Lady of Pompeii, Italy. In 1871, a Third Order Dominican who had taken the name Brother Rosario held a deep desire to promulgate devotion to Mary and the Rosary in the region of Pompeii, Italy, where he lived. As he began traveling, he became very disheartened at the lack of faith and the extreme poverty and ignorance of the people he encountered. He was struggling with doubts of his own when he heard a voice say to him, If you seek salvation, promulgate the Rosary. This is Mary's own promise. As a result, he began many festivals in honor of the Rosary, including games and lotteries to attract the secular people of the area. He also renovated a dilapidated church and named it Our Lady of the Rosary. Then, in 1884, a young girl from Naples, Italy named Fortuna Agrelli was suffering from an unknown, incurable disease. Her family began a novena of rosaries, and on the final day of the novena, Mary appeared to Fortuna. Adorned in golden garments, the Blessed Mother was sitting on a throne with the Christ Child in her lap and a rosary in her hand. Fortuna then asked the Queen of the Rosary to cure her, and Our Lady was moved with compassion, promising to do so if the young girl would offer three novenas of the rosary for her request. Fortuna was, indeed, cured, and Our Lady then told her, whoever desires to obtain favors should pray three novenas of the prayers of the rosary in petition and three in thanksgiving, which is how the rosary novena began.